And um, did you have any further contact with the RCMP following, uh, with respect to SNC Lavalin, uh, following that interview in 2019? Never prior and never after. Did the RCMP ask you about, uh, did they ask you any questions dealing with uh, Justin Trudeau? That was five years ago. I do not remember the, the flow of the interview. We basically went over the material, which uh, you will see in the commissioner's report. You, you don't remember um, if the prime minister's name was said by the RCMP. But I can tell you, I, I've, I've um, uh, as part of uh, complaints that I filed uh, with the RCMP, um, have been interviewed by them, and, I, and it was years ago. I remember uh, very distinctly um, how that interview went, and I certainly would remember uh, if uh, the Prime Minister's name was mentioned. It was, I can tell you in, in, in my case. Uh, was the, the Prime Minister's name mentioned, was a question asked of you about Prime Minister Justin Trudeau when you were questioned what by the, the RCMP? Interview was, the interview took the form of going through the chronology of events, who met with whom, who spoke with whom, communicated with whom, and so on, and so yes, the role of the Prime Minister came up because I was uh, in contact with the Prime Minister during that period I was clerk. Then why didn't you just say that? The um, question of obstruction of justice, which is a criminal offence, was raised with respect to the Prime Minister's involvement in the SNC-Lavalin scandal. Uh, this is, a, of course, uh, uh, um, events in which you were involved. Um, most Canadians would have expected that you would have been interviewed on that subject. Do you think you should have been interviewed uh, in the RCMP's um, pursuits uh, with respect to obstruction of justice concerns uh, or allegations about Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? I have no view on that, Mr. Cooper. It's up to the police who they decide to interview. Uh, thank you very much. My esteemed colleague, Mr. Cooper, will have questions for you later. Uh, um, I'm Michael Barrett, and uh, I did have the opportunity to ask you questions when you appeared at the Justice Committee about uh, the SNC-Lavalin scandal, and I'm glad that we have you here today as well. Um, do you have any view on who the RCMP uh, should have interviewed? We have a list of who the RCMP, or excuse me, who the Ethics Commissioner interviewed. We know who the RCMP interviewed, but those lists aren't, uh, aren't the same. Um, Justin Trudeau, Katie Telford, uh, Jerry Butts, uh, do you think they should have been interviewed to, uh, to exonerate the Prime Minister? I have no view on who the police should choose to interview. They, uh, can, not every issue of ethics or behaviour rises to the level of a preliminary investigation or fact-finding or examination. Not all of those move on to a full investigation in, in the terms that journalists and politicians use them. These are decisions to be made by the police and by the prosecutorial service. We know that the uh, Prime Minister uh, broke the law. Um, that's a matter of uh, public record, uh, him having broken the uh, Conflict of Interest Act. There was a finding uh, of that by the Ethics Commissioner. And, um, and we know that there's a, a big gap in the RCMP's work, and it's just it's very curious about how that came to pass. Um, if the RCMP um, were to pursue an investigation uh, into the SNC-Lavalin scandal and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, would you fully cooperate? Of course. A, uh, another uh, law enforcement agency, the Ontario Provincial Police, for example, were to undertake an investigation into the uh, SNC-Lavalin scandal, would you fully cooperate? Of course. Do you possess any documents related to the SNC-Lavalin scandal or the Deferred Prosecution Agreement? No, I left government in April 2019, five years ago. Okay. And the question wasn't when you left government the second time that you've offered us that date. The question was about mm -hmm. you having the documents. I have no documents. Um, why did Justin Trudeau go to such great lengths to pursue a... Uh, a deferred prosecution agreement for his friends at SNC-Lavalin. I have nothing to add to my testimony at the Justice Committee five years ago. You have nothing to add. So, um, so you, you, there was no there was no rationale. So, uh, if I were to say that it was um, to help out a liberal friendly firm, uh, you have nothing to add to that. I gave my testimony at two meetings of the Justice Committee two parliaments ago, and that's my uh, account of events. Um, well, the, the history is quite clear that uh, there was not a case made, and we've, of course, heard the 
um, now famous recording of you and the then uh, Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould um, when you uh, claimed uh, without uh, any evidence um, and without any any substantiation, it's yet to be provided, that it was about jobs. And we know that it was never about jobs. It was, in fact, about uh, politics. Thank um, you. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Uh, that concludes your six-minute round. Uh